TV. Finesse two times through Sugar, a Playboy theme mansion party in Texas yesterday. He got a $20,000 iced out watch and a couple thousand dollar buffs to put on her face. La Boosie's son, Tootie Rao, even came out to play. <laughs> And I'm sure y'all remember Crunchy Black from Three Season Mafia, but if y'all don't remember him from that Oscar winning multi platinum rap group, I know all y'all at least gotta remember him from his DJ Vlad interview. Well, his son, Endless Entertainment artist, Bezel Boy Black, said he's sick of hearing other niggas from Memphis stealing his lyrics when they rap. He just thought he'd warn them guys before they got all out they body. And he said he about to start exposing them for that. And I just wanna take the time out to give a shout out to Bezel Boy Black. Cause the only time the blogs talk about him is when he got shot earlier this year and I think that's Cap. He really one of the sickest rappers out. Mr. Walk Down himself, 1017, all this Matt Critter told Soulja Boy to keep his out of his mouth. Comment down below if y'all know what that's all about. Your boy Rollo said he only got a month left till he get out. If you wanna book him for a show, a feature, or an interview, just call that number right there. I woke up this morning and found out Julio Fulio got shot. It seems like the only thing rappers do these days is just they ops and rap about slaying like they don't care if they die or not. But he's still young, I hope you get a chance to experience life. His mom want everybody to pray that he be alright. Ain't no need to stand in Jacksonville where you got people trying to kill you. Cause when they see it, they most likely gonna try to shoot you on sight. Speaking of rappers who lost their life, 50 Cent playing the old block demon King Von. In the upcoming series, Power Book 6. I never watched a single episode of Power before, but I might actually watch this when this come on. Your boy Drake and Joe Budden been going back and forth all morning. Joe Budden complaining because he want Drake to make music like an old man. But if Drake did that, then all his songs would probably be boring. And Drake told Joe Budden he ain't never really did numbers before. Drake's new tape is already one of the highest stream albums of the year so far. From making hits to his tour, everything Drake did this year was super. But I listened to a man whose only hit he ever had was subpar. But I ain't dissing him because I'm still a fan. Because Joe Budden really did have bars. Now he's living out my dream as a podcast star. Birdman told Joe Budden to calm down. Cause he not ready to go to war But Birdman put respect on Charlie Mayne's name Even though he had problems with him before And after J. Cole dropped a song on Drake's new tape The South Carolina native might have his first number one hit On the Hot 100 billboard in his career These two are some of the greatest that ever lived But Lil Yachty on the other hand Had some not so nice things to say about Shade Room earlier I hate Shade Room cause Niggas are never Niggas are never post anything but some shit When a nigga look crazy on time. Don't post me ever on that yeah. until a nigga look crazy. That should be lame. I I don't never get I don't ever want to get when a nigga look good. Only pick from two years ago and fuck that dude too who say I look like Bernie Mac. Well, there you go. Get back with your boy on the next video. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And hit the notification bell so YouTube will let you know the next time I upload. But oh yeah, before I go, free Rollo. I had to make it look juicy, bro. Trap Pool TV. Oh!